Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to my adventures in Shovel Knight, Plague of Shadows, Plague Knight's campaign. It's finally out. When this was being crowdfunded on Kickstarter, one of the stretch goals was for playable boss campaigns, and they hit the goal to add three playable boss campaigns, and the backers chose this one, and I think Spectre Knight and King Knight. And I think Plague Knight was a really good choice to start with. Oh, did they actually change the intro for Plague Knight? That's cool! So it's branching off of uh, Shovel Knight's intro. Yeah, this is totally different. We saw nothing less than to concoct a potion of unlimited power. Oh, I wonder how this is going to work when we get to Plague Knight stage. I wonder who the boss of that stage is going to be. Is it going to be Shovel Knight? That would be cool. A uh, draft so fiendishly potent that nothing he desired would be out of his reach. Oh, it's Mona! Mona from the basement in the village. So Mona's helping. Oh, it's the same shot as uh, the end of Shovel Knight's opening, except with Plague Knight standing up on the cliff. Each knight guards a crucial ingredient. Okay, so that sets out Plague Knight's motivation. Great! Oh, this game is so charming. Oh, the boss is on his way. We gotta get back to the lab fast. Just hold X to charge and burst out of here. Okay, so that introduces, like, the core mechanic of Plague Knight. Hee hee hee. Yeah, this is so good! Okay, so Plague Knight controls completely differently from Shovel Knight. So he can throw three bombs at a time, he can do that, he can burst into the air when you, uh, when you hold the attack button down to charge it up. Does this little burst, and he has a double jump. Oh shit. Uh, also, I don't know what these green coins are, but they're being counted above the gold tally, so I'm assuming they're pretty important for Plague Knight. Fuck, this feels so good. It's, it's so totally different from Shovel Knight, too. Just the way he controls. I played the intro stage here at PAX East, so I have some idea of what I'm doing. But I'm gonna go a little bit further than what I played at, uh, at PAX East earlier this year and do maybe the first one or two stages after this. I don't remember this, health tonics. They upgrade your max health. Oh shit, this is all new. Okay, so I get different bursts, arcana, bouncing casing, or bounce casing, standard fuse. Oh, so I can modify uh, what my bombs do. Okay, so that's, what are the arcanas? I have a, a power meter. There's still a lot of stuff that I didn't really get a chance to go that in-depth with when I was at PAX, and I haven't gotten a chance to play this yet. Uh, from what I can tell, the stages are laid out mostly the same, with maybe a little bit of remixing here and there, uh, and some slightly different enemy placements, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same as when you come through here as uh, Shovel Knight. But Plague Knight himself is just so alien compared to Shovel Knight, that's like a totally new game. Oh, this is cool. You can also stall yourself in midair by throwing the bombs, and you can do that a couple times. So you have a lot of different ways to control your trajectory and your jump arc, and like just your, your general movement. It feels a lot more crazy to play than Shovel Knight did. I like it, they're so well differentiated. Yeah, so we have a double jump, uh, we have the, the burst, and throwing bombs stalls you in midair. Yeah, this is... Oh, I still get the music notes. I wonder if I could do the same thing with them that I did uh, with Shovel Knight. Oh, it's gonna be so weird running back through the village as Plague Knight. Okay, so I have to charge and burst to break those. I think you get a little bit of invulnerability while you're in the middle of the uh, burst animation. Might be wrong about that. Gonna have to test that out. Also, it looks like the uh, the maximum health upgrade from the tonics that appears to be like a temporary thing. But I'm not sure how that resets. Oh shit, blob! Just by changing the character that you play as, they change, like, they change the whole game. It's so smart. 
Yeah, it, it's... Ooh, okay. Right. It's this huge deviate. Fuck! I went back for it. It's this huge deviation in how you play. Uh, I don't think I want to go after him. Nah. This is going to be nuts to speedrun with this character. Come back for that gold. Spectre Knight's going to be a lot of fun, too. I remember when the game came out, they were discussing um, what they wanted to do with some of their uh, boss campaigns. Uh, I think the idea... I don't know if this has changed or not. If they're going to go with something different, but what they were discussing was having Spectre Knight maybe constantly lose health and you would have to be relentlessly aggressive just to get your health back and stop yourself from bleeding out. The other thing that makes Plague Knight so different from Shovel Knight shit, is the fact that he's a projectile-focused character. And you have to really watch the arc of your, um, of your, your bombs. So you have one arc for them when you're on the ground that where they kind of go horizontal a little bit. But then, in mid-air, Plague Knight throws them at like a 45 degree angle. And I don't think there's a way to just throw them straight down. Unless it's like a mod for the bombs. This is fucking fun, though. So we should be coming up to the end of the intro stage pretty soon, uh, which is about where my knowledge of this ends. Well, kinda. Because if you watched the LP la- Ooh, that's- Did I get bounced further back when I got hit? Like, if you watched the LP last year, you know that I played Shovel Knight pretty extensively. So I- I like- I know the level designs, but- Oh shit! Oh! I couldn't charge in midair after I got hit. I couldn't charge fast enough. Yeah. Oh, that's so different. The fact that you have to lob the bombs at an angle just changes so much. You would think that suddenly having all these projectiles would break the game since Shovel Knight's all about melee, but they knew. Everything from how they've tweaked the, uh, the layouts and the enemy placements to, like, the arc of his projectiles is just smart. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got all of it. Plus the, the green coin. I also know there's some kind of alchemy system in this. Not exactly sure how that's tied to, like, the Arcana or the different bombs, but... Oh, maybe it's uh maybe it's totally different from from Shovel Knight buying or finding his uh relics and you have to like craft new stuff for him using these coins. Should be something on the left here. Yeah. I remember this. Dude, I love getting to play as Plague Knight! Alright. Yeah, you have to be, like, so much more aware of, of your your placement in midair so you can get the correct angles on stuff. Magisist. You're aiding him on his quest for the ultimate potion. Fled the Order of No Quarter. Yeah, they get completely different dialogue! Nice! The panicky pushover. <laughs> oh, it's great. Yeah, so Plague Knight has to fight the rest of the Order of No Quarter and the Black Knight and do all of uh, Shovel Knight's boss fights. Okay. Yeah, if I use the burst, I can get kind of a higher angle on him and uh, hit him a little bit more. Instead of just throwing him on the ground while I'm level with him. I don't think I would be able to hit him as easily. This is so much fun! Oh, that's so cute! That's so cute! 
<laughs> Man, Shovel Knight in dance animations. So good. <laughs> He's still doing it. Oh, this is great. Okay, now this is where uh, my knowledge kind of ends a little bit. Like, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be able to tackle stuff coming up. No weapons allowed. Let's just pretend I don't recognize you. Don't shoot your creepy bird face around here again, freak. Oh wait, he's stopping me. Maybe you didn't hear through that Oh, can I not go into the village? We already had this conversation, pal. Really? Hold on, let me try and burst. No, he just stops me in midair after a certain point. Oh, he pushes Plague Knight. Knight's so cute. Okay. Oh! Oh! That's so good! Hedge people. Secret entrance. Still guarding it. I lost the key. Locksmith should be here within a week or two. Can I get over it? Yeah, I should be able to. Absolutely. And that all looks super explosive. Yeah, I'll get into my secret base another way. <laughs> so good. This is the house I grew up in. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, hedge people. Oh, it's the sewers that's going to take me right under the village. It's Shuffle Knight. I like this a whole lot. I hope every uh, every other boss campaign is this good. Still got King Knight, Inspector Knight to go. This is terrific. And yeah, it's Mona again. We're stuck languishing here in obscurity until then. We'll visit and uh, <laughs> borrow them. Oh, so Mona's been helping Plague Knight the whole time. Better the alchemy. Okay. What? <gasps> so good. These lips never cease to both amuse and nauseate. The potionarium. Oh, here we go. Shop research. I have a bunch of new toys design. We'll need 40 cipher coins. Oh, I don't have enough! I only got 31 in the intro stage. Okay, that's what those coins do. So what does that- what does the research actually unlock? Is that like for my Arcana, or just bomb upgrades? Tracer powder. Produces waves of fire in both direct- oh, I like that. Cascade powder. I'm probably gonna buy that. Floats slowly to the ground, blows up- Oh, there are so many ways to modify the bombs! This is way more in-depth than I was expecting! Uh, can I get the lob casing too? Yeah. So that changes the arc that I can throw the bombs in. Okay, we'll put that on and cascade powder. Let's... Yeah, that is a drastic difference. Oh, and the, sh the, the fuse is short, so it blows up in midair and then the fire just falls to the ground and then trails left and right. This is so much more in depth than I thought. That I thought it would be. What is that? Oh my god, I can hit my research ass assistants. Oolong! Oolong wants to help, can make music. Okay, so he's who I, I turn the music sheets into? Oh no, he's just my minstrel. Okay. This is amazing. Percy! How can I help you, Percy? Oh no, he's who I give the uh, the papyrus scrolls to, the, the music notes. <laughs> you need glue? I know where you can get some. I'll repay your, your kindness with some love advice. <laughs> Look at him go! Okay, two sheets of paper, 500 gold for each. So promise a fitting reward. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, the Magicist that was being interrogated by the Black Knight. 
Uh, by the max number of- okay, those are health tonics. Increases your magic bar for more arcana use. I don't have any arcanas yet! Special delivery. When I take a look, bait bomb. Toss into a sparkling pit and see what flies up. Is this gonna be like the, the Trowel King 2.0? Yeah, there's way more new stuff here than I thought there would be. But the basic stage layout should still be the same. Time for research! Yeah. So right off the bat, I'm gonna go left. I don't know if I if I knew about this when I did the Let's Play, but I do now. There's a music note right back here from the very beginning of the stage. Oh my god! That's the Yacht Club's uh, logo. I didn't know this was here. I was trying to blow the uh, the uh, the armor up. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the bounce casing for now. I'm gonna leave the cascade on. It seems pretty good. So yeah, Plague Knight and his abilities and modifications make him play a lot like Plague Knight did during the boss fight, which is fucking awesome. I wonder if that means that like, one of the Arcanas you can get is Plague Knight's teleport from the boss fight. This is so good. There's still a bunch more stuff coming from Shuff for uh, Shovel Knight, too. Like, they still have to do the gender swap mode, the four-player battle mode. I can't remember if co-op was a stretch goal. Uh, the other two playable knights. I didn't even realize they had already added the challenge modes until I, I uh, booted the game up last night. I started messing with one, I just wound up doing all 26 in one setting because I was having so much fun with them. Man, they are tough, though. Um, they all they all took a fair bit of work. The, the first form of the Enchantress, though, is by far the hardest one. There weren't too many others that just straight up roadblocked me the way she did. Spent probably about an hour on that one. Because they're all fairly tough. They're very well-tuned, where if one thing was just tweaked a little bit, it would break the challenge or trivialize it. Down to giving you, like, an extra five seconds here or there, or an extra tip of health for some of them. But the Enchantress challenge mode was really, really hard. You have to beat the first form of the Enchantress in one minute, or maybe it was 55 seconds, uh, with two tips of health, and the only sub-weapon you get uh, is the Anchor, and you do that as Shovel Knight. I don't think there are any Plague Knight challenges. At least not yet, anyway. I wonder if they're gonna add those in the future. Oh, shit. I wasn't looking at the far right of the screen. Okay. You're gonna... Nah. Remember, I'm still getting used to this. I have my 40 co... Fuck. I have my 40 coins. So when I get done King Knight stage, I can go back to Mona and see what the research upgrades are. Yeah, so the stages are pretty much exactly the same as they were when you play a Shovel... Shit, man. A Shovel Knight. It's just, your character is so wildly different when you come through them as Plague Knight that it just, it changes everything. That's cool. There's a, there's definitely a learning curve here. I wonder what they're gonna do to make King Knight different. Because King Knight... He seems like... When you compare him to, to Light Knight and Shovel Knight, he seems so vanilla. Okay, how am I breaking this? Shit, because I can't quite get a bomb. I don't have enough time to get a bomb started up. Oh, how am I going to do this? Because I can't throw at the top of my jump arc. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I had to burst after the double jump, and the burst destroyed it. Yeah, there is a learning curve. It's, uh, it's tricky to play him. Especially after having played so much as Shovel Knight. A worthless relic maybe someone else would want. Ah! Oh, God, I thought I got something new. Just double check. Nope. Yeah. Just a joke at my expense. Come back as, as Shovel Knight to get that. Alright, we'll wait for that, and burst across. Oh no! Ooh! 
shit, man. <laughs> Oh, man, I, I have no idea how I'm going to handle the uh, room coming up with the uh, disappearing blocks. The ones that are tied to the uh, spell book. That's going to be so much harder than, uh, than just doing that at Shovel Knight. I think I still have a few more rooms to go. I want the Cypher Coin. Boo -doo -doo -doo. This is worth it just to hear the music again, to be honest. Ah, uh, no reason to stick around. I'm pretty sure there was something to the left, but... Whatever. Oh, I can't pick... I can't pick them because I'm maxed out. That's a lot of temporary health. Oh, yeah, the griffin. So am I safe in this spot, or...? No, it's like right near the edge, near the pit. Oop. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, my god! Okay, Plague Knight gets knocked way further back than Shovel Knight. It just hit me why that is. Um, you get knocked further back when he gets hit because he's a ranged character. So if something's right in your face hitting you, they want... Plague Knight to be knocked further back so he's at his kind of safe distance. Oh, that's that that's smart, but it's also really tricky. I can't wait to unlock more options so I can get better control of the bombs. Or at least until like I can't wait to get more used to it at least. Oh. Huh. You want? Know I just had an idea. And I want to wait until I, I come across something to test this out. Um, I just had an idea. So if you jump and then burst and then double jump, uh, you, ro you, you retain the momentum from the burst. I bet you can use that to fit in two bursts if you stagger it like that. Like if you charge, jump, burst, charge, double jump, burst. I think you could probably get to uh, burst in midair. No, I have to wait till I find a, like a high enough ledge to test that out on. Okay, this room is gonna be tough. That's not bad. Okay. Shh. Maybe not. Maybe this will be easier. Because I can activate the uh, the spell books that control the platforms from a distance. I'm not sure. Oh no 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 no! The burst sends you flying a fixed distance. So if you don't have a double jump ready to change your midair trajectory, that happens. Okay. Now I can't quite do what I was thinking of before. Oh, shit, 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 shit! Leg Knight is wild to control. Very, very different. Alright, maybe I... Yeah, maybe I don't want to use that burst like that. Ooh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I actually got lucky that... Leg Knight's, uh, hit knockback is... Further than Shovel Knight's. Uh, no, I don't want to go for that coin. I could just do, like, I could jump off the ladder and then double jump back on, but I didn't want to chance it. I'll be back for that Cypher Coin later. Watch, I'm gonna wind up with, like, 60 Cypher Coins by the end of this, just missing that one. Rather, I'm, no, I'm gonna wind up with 59, because that'll be the 60th. Because I think I'm just about at the end of the stage. Yep. So, does that mean there are only 20 in this stage? No, because I didn't quite get 40 from the intro stage. I don't, I don't know. I'm guessing it's probably 30 or 20 per stage. 
Let's have that essence. I think I'll take that nice crown, too. Okay, so I know how I fight him as Shovel Knight, but pogoing doesn't exactly work at all as Plague Knight, so... Um, you know, I, I want to throw three at a time because he doesn't quite have that long invulnerability. So... Oh, shit! This could be big damage. Ah. I wasted, like, probably a, a volley or two. This isn't too bad, though. Oh, I love his little dance animation. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm really curious about what's going to happen at the end of uh, Leg Knight stage, the Explodatorium. Drop the essence into my dime, my Dynamo Decanter. Oh, then we can craft the ultimate potion once we have all the essences. I discovered that his crown isn't even gold. Pretender. Oh, so good. Okay, let's go to research and see what we can we can uh, buy. Forty cipher coins. Yeah, we have that now. So what does this unlock? Your new arsenal. Oh, it's just a whole bunch of new uh, casings and powders and fuses and bursts. Okay. Oh, this stuff is really cool. Hover in place, fire blast in front of you when launching. I'm gonna have to come back for all this stuff. Uh, I didn't go to the right before. Does that just does that just take me out of here? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. I like it. So that's uh that's my little quick look at Shovel Knight: Lake of Shadows. I'm gonna go and just tear this up uh, off screen. Hope you enjoyed. it. Pick Shovel Knight up. It's really, really good, and they're adding so much to it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.